The countdown is on. In just about eight hours, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos and his team of three others are about to blast off to the edge of space. Welcome to the 10 o'clock news. I'm Jesse Pagan. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. Marcelo Lee has the night off. Bezos will board the new Shepard, a fully automated rocket designed by his company Blue Origin. And tonight, News 8's Richard Allen introduces us to the crew members and talks with San Diego space experts who say this could be the inspiration for future space travelers. Well, that's right. Jeff Bezos founded Blue Origin more than 20 years ago, dreaming one day of seeing Earth from space. And tomorrow morning, he's set to do exactly that. This team is amazing. Uh, we just feel really good about it. Command engine start. Two, one. Joining Jeff Bezos on Tuesday's fully automated, pilotless 11-minute flight out of the Earth's atmosphere is his brother Mark, along with veteran aviator Wally Funk, originally part of Mercury 13, who at 82 would be the oldest person to travel into space, and 18-year-old Dutch high school graduate Oliver Damon, who would be the youngest. Jeff Bezos says this is the realization of a lifelong dream. He's going to excite an awful lot of people. Jim Kidrick is president of the San Diego Air and Space Museum and interviewed Bezos in 2019 when Bezos was inducted into the museum's International Air and Space Hall of Fame. Kidrick says Bezos is passionate about the prospect of deep space exploration. Jeff is all about the moon. Kitrick also says this trip will inspire future space travelers. It's going to be very, very exciting because we're going to see the rocket return to Earth. We're going to see ultimately the capsule return to Earth, all of which can be reused. And that reusability is a huge factor in making space travel a viable industry moving forward, something echoed by Gustav Jacobs, a professor in aerospace engineering at San Diego State University. It, that is amazing that it's happening. That, that the, where we live in, uh, we live in amazing times. Jacobs predicts the prohibitively high cost of traveling into space in the tens of millions of dollars in some cases should come down. Especially if it becomes more, uh, more mass produced, like, like anything, the cost will go down real quick. And Jacobs also points out that more and more young people are pursuing aerospace careers. Here at SDSU, for instance, their program attracted only about 20 students when he first started teaching here 15 years ago, and now there are more than 100. Thank you, Richard. Coming up in the next half hour, are Branson and Bezos the first space tourists? We verify. And tomorrow morning, be sure to stay with us for special coverage of the launch and landing of Blue Origin spacecraft. We'll carry a special report here on the CW and on our sister station, CBS 8.